you consider the services he has done for this country? What he Whatever he's done for his country, he did it to win pain. Yes! He did it to please his mother. Yes! And to fill himself with pride. Yes!
Pompeius. So the opinion is say of wrong of knowledge of our plan. I have a letter here. They have raised an army, hold these steps, the people mutinous. Our army is in the field. We have no doubt the wrong is ready now to fight with them. Long Ophidius. Take your commission. With our army, let us alone to guard Kori Ola. I leave your orders. If I and Caius Marcius chance to meet, it's sworn between us. We shall never strike. Still, one can do no more. The gods assist you. And keep your orders safe. Farewell.
I will, I must. 
Be long as the last. 
pose, yeah? And to send for Titus Blasters, it remains as the main point of this hour after meeting to gratify his noble service that has destined for his country. Therefore, please you most reverend and great elders to desire the present consul and general, Comenius, to report a little of that worthy work performed by Caius Marcius. Coriolanus. Speed, good Corinius, leave nothing of more ranks. Masters of the people, we do request your kindness to us, and after your loving influence the common people to deal what passes here. We are convinced <laughs> upon the pleasing treaty and of hearts Incredible good honor if he remember a kind of value of the people than he has here to fly them. That's all, that's all. I would rather have been silent. Please hear to Cominius speak. Most willingly. Was he Cominius? Speak. Nay, keep your place. This Coriolanus never seemed to hear, but do you have nobody done? No, not pardon. I had rather have my words to hear again. Then here people say how I got them. Sir, I hope my words disturbed you. Oh, sir. But your people, I love them as they wish. Play now, sit down. I had rather have someone scratch my head in the sun than when they sit to here. My nothing is most of Proceed, comedian. I shall lack voice. The deed of Coriolanus should not be uttered freely. For this last, before I'm in Coriolan, let me say, I cannot speak him home. He stopped the prayers, and by his rare example, made the coward turn terror into sport. He was a thing of blood. Put every much of a time with thy cry. Alone, <coughs> he entered the mother gate of the city, which he painted with sailless destiny. Ages came up, and with a sallow reinforcement, struck Coriolai like a planet. Now all is his, and to the battle came he, to air a perpetual point, and to recall but field and city yards. He never stood to his breath with panting. Was he man? He cannot but his measure fit the honor which we devised for him. She is right to know. Let you be called for. Call Coriolanus.
be the more bottom. But I have not been common, madam. I am your mother. Flatter the people to run their own. Therefore, is this true? I may be conquered. We hope to find you <coughs> our friends and therefore give you our verses happy. You have received many food for your country. I will not abuse your knowledge by showing them. I'll make much of it, so probably you know, father. That God give you joy, sir. Party.
country and tell your friends they have chosen a council that will promote them, take their liberties, let them assemble, and all revoke you in that direction.
market place. Side me no
in Lord with thought, even the sovereign of such a kind, he thought such three
problems have been is it any of them be portions take lots of we are in the most more like liberation and hope to come upon them in the heat of their future. The main phrase of it is in the past, but that small thing would make me pray about it. For what I know, you see it's all too hard. Punishment of that worthy Coriolanus, and they are in that aptness to take all power from the people. Coriolanus, punish, punish, sir. <coughs> Your noble Tarasso Phidias will appear well in these new walls. His great opposer, Coriolanus, being now in no request of his country. What an army, let me say you.
This man, Rodriguez, was my beloved friend in law. You keep a constant temper. Senji! No, sir, is your name? <laughs> 
your general do his worst. For you, may your misery meet <laughs> with your age. I say to you, as I was said to you, away! We will, before the wars are broke, set down our hold. You have stopped to your ears against the hopeless cries of Rome. This last old man, Benigna, filled me with a cracked heart. I have sent back to Rome, loved me above the measure of a father. Their latest attempt was to say, Who I have not even to do. Fresh embassy and suit neither from the state nor from the private man. Here, I will not listen to you. Hey! Oh, not shout it. Forgive our Romans.
shine that is knotted and call you ladies gone. Of many a day did Levi greet Lord. Prince, are you certain this is true? It is most sudden. As such as I do, sun is fire. Yeah. Why, Haki? This is good news. I will go meet the ladies. This Paramunia is worth more than Kusa would send out Patricians or City for. You have played well today. Oh, my God. 
welcome home. I have not deserved it. But what do you know? Have you finished what I have written to you? We have. And we do read it. What for? He made before. But I found excuse. But making that plenty of peace, I need no excuse.
यहाँ 